So this is a brief snapshot of your relationship, the current state of your union. It's about where you are, how your partner's feeling, and of course this Two of Cups is the significator for your relationship. So you have the Wheel of Fortune and New Love. So it could be that your luck is changing. Perhaps new re a new relationship has begun or one is on the way, on the horizon. Uh, maybe you hit the jackpot with this new love. And maybe it feels very uh, faded. This could be fortunate circumstances uh, that suddenly improve your love life, your relationship, there may be issues centering around money, gambling, travel, but you could feel very fortunate. Now, something is either working in, in your favor or working against you. But even if it's working against you, whatever doesn't turn out exactly the way you hope is actually a blessing in disguise. So you could have some, in, in the positive, some fortunate improvements to your outlook, to your relationship, uh, to your prospects, and you may feel, you know, very, very blessed. Despite this feeling faded, whatever the circumstance, positive or negative, you've actually played a role in how this is occurring. So you've had a hand in it, whether you feel like you're a victim of circumstance or, you know, incredible luck has befallen on you. And in fact, there is a lot of luck running through circumstances. Nevertheless, you play a role in the outcome of a circumstance. Now, your partner is represented by King of Swords and Past Life. So perhaps you've known this person before, either in this life or another one. Uh, this King of Swords could be an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It may be their sun, their moon, or their rising sign. Or this may just be someone who is very authoritative, very commanding. This is someone who makes decisions. So they may be in a position of being a decision maker, or perhaps they're making decisions based on the past. Now, this may be, uh, you know, an old love, an ex, uh, or perhaps if this is working negatively ag against you, maybe your fortune has changed. This is someone who has, has decided that they want a divorce. But in, in the positive, this is someone who solves problems. He wants to be fair. You can rely on him to, you know, go over a situation, analyze it, and make choices. Now, he's not the most skilled, despite being, you know, very good at communication, he's not the most skilled at intimate conversation. So he may not share his deep emotions. He may have difficulty expressing that. So it may not be a romance that is full of uh, roses and sweet nothings. Nevertheless, this is a person who is working to be fair, give you good advice, make sound judgments. And again, he may be related to the past or he may be making constructive decisions uh, based on the past, whether to continue a, a particular course of action or to cut it off. Uh, negatively, you may find this person as very cold, very calculating, uh, very self-oriented, and at times maybe cruel and tyrannical. Uh, this could be somebody who is cut off from his emotions. He's cauterized himself. Uh, and maybe if, if you've, even if you have children, maybe he's cut them off, or uh, he's very aloof, very detached. It's hard to get close to him. Or he's generally not a nice person. But in the positive, this is someone who wants to be fair, uh, thinks things over thoroughly, and tries to do the right thing, tries to act in truth. Now, you have Ace of Pentacles and King of Cups. So there are two kings here. You may have a choice of partner, or there's something very centered on 
uh, a partnership that can pay off financially. This may be something that ties to money or security. So you could be making decisions. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is, again, some opportunity that falls in your lap. And even if it is a dilemma instead, it may prove to be a blessing. There could be considerations that tie to your emotional and physical security. Now, maybe you are involved with this person because of some kind of large transaction he may be involved in decision-making that connects to money, security, finances. For some of you, you meet this person in the course of just going about your business, some kind of transaction. You're paying for something, you're purchasing for something, you're getting a service, and he may be somehow instrumental in that. But something could fall into your lap out of nowhere. There's a very strong focus on the physical, and this could be a relationship that is very physical in nature. You could be planning something fortunate with your partner about the future. Maybe you meet this person when you're traveling or maybe you are with a partner and you're making some plans that involve a major purchase. It could be a purchase of property, a dream vacation, a vehicle, or anything else that is of interest to you. The King of Cups is water energy. Uh, so this could represent you, or it could be your partner. Uh, this could also be someone who has Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is a king who acts in your best interest. So you're getting mind and heart. Maybe this is the dual facet of a person. They know how to make decisions and uh, objectively detach their emotions when necessary, but they also have, uh, they're in touch with their feminine side. Maybe they make emotionally based decisions or decisions from the heart. So this could be somebody who is very creative, um, very intuitive. Maybe they deal with emotional or psychological issues. Uh, it could be a doctor. It could be some kind of advisor. But this is a very loving caring individual in the positive. In the negative, this is somebody who understands emotions so well that they can make decisions where they manipulate others or take advantage in some way. Or on the other end of the spectrum, this person may have difficulty making decisions because they can't control their emotions. And so they're prone to being impractical. Maybe they make poor decisions or costly decisions. In the positive, this is an opportunity to get uh, a very loving connection. Somebody who cares about you, maybe you don't even have to voice your concerns. This person can already feel what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and they make decisions accordingly in order to serve the highest good of the relationship. So there's an opportunity here uh, to make some decisions that are emotional uh, in nature, that affect your security. The romance is characterized by Capricorn. So now we also have Earth energy. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, their sun, moon, or rising, or you may have Capricorn strongly in your chart. In either case, this is a relationship that may be somewhat reserved. It may not be a lot of... Uh, showy physical uh, intimacy except behind closed doors because it can be a, a, a very physical relationship but not in the public eye. But the public eye is a concern for this relationship. This could be a, a, a partnership where social status is important, how, you, how you're viewed by the world, working together towards something. And it may be one in which one of you seeks some kind of authority or status through the relationship. This person may be more experienced, more well-connected. They may be older, uh, you know, so... Those are issues that may affect your relationship in some way. The need for control or the need for recognition or the intention behind the relationship. Um, 
you know, Capricorn is a sign that is prone in some cases to be selfish. So there could be issues connected to selfishness or greed or gaining personal power, either for positive or negative. How you're viewed by the public, achieving some form of status. Some of you, there may be a disparity between you. Maybe you're dating a boss or a superior or you are that. So there are, there's a focus on a partnership that carries a lot of weight uh, and it, it has the potential to open up avenues that affect you emotionally and financially. Or this is a partnership that literally comes out of nowhere. The wheels have been turning and there, uh, there's a new relationship, new prospects, and possibly between a choice of two people. Uh, the underlying energy is the Nine of Wands and Serendipity. So you are determined to change your luck. And maybe if you're dealing with two people, your endurance level is also being tested. You're very protective. You, If you've got a good thing going, you want to protect it and, and make sure that it's safe. And you always also want to protect yourself. You don't want to be exploited or taken advantage of in any way because you've learned a lot over the past several years. You've gained some experience and they haven't always been easy. They've tested you. They've challenged you. But you've also grown a lot. You've come a long way. Now, there is an, an end goal. You're not quite there, but you're very close to the finish line. And it comes through taking responsibility for how you got to a particular place in the first place. What were the decisions that you made? What were the actions that you take that brought you, that you took, that brought you to a particular place? If you've learned the lesson behind those, you're ready for growth. This is a victory card. So some fortuitous stroke of luck, serendipitous events are occurring for you. Others of you are having a hard time protecting your luck or it feels like bad luck. Okay, Pisces, the camera shut off when I was at the end of your reading. As a matter of fact... <laughs> I had to redo your reading a number of times, and whenever that happens for me, it means that that particular sign is significant for some reason. Uh, so your, your particular sign may be in focus during this period. But in closing, uh, you had this Nine of Wands and Serendipity. So you're very determined to either create luck, protect it, or deal with unfortunate circumstances. And either way, it is wearing on your strength, but just know that you are very close to the finish line. Uh, this may be your determination to protect yourself uh, in a relationship. It may be a determination to create better circumstances surrounding a relationship. It may involve something monetary where you are joining forces to create some kind of stability. Uh, whatever it is, you are very close to closing out a cycle.